Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, and it's in centimeters, and it's actually in tenths of centimeters. And they sent me this arc, and they wanted to try to figure out how to object to path, and it just doesn't work. So I created a an ellipse pretty close to the, the size of that circle. You can see I'm just a little bit off. And you could play around with that and get maybe get the circle more perfect. This isn't a perfect arc, but I guess it could be. So I've already done it, and it worked out pretty well. I've got the 5 and 10 uh, centimeter marks, and let's just test it. Um, well, we can just have to go from the fifth line. So if we take the, and you got to remember it's on a curve. So from that line, that node to that node, We've got one centimeter. So it's accurate. And I've, I've made them a little bit too long because the short, if you make them shorter, so I'm gonna make a second one. And I started out for the one I'm doing it for, I started out with the circles is 62.5 centimeters. And I put it in the front of the center of the page because that's where I want it. I'm gonna take a two point line I'm just going to draw a little line. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to hit T, as in Tom. We'll go ahead and make that line a little shorter. There we go. You can barely see it because of the indexing line. And we need to figure out, so this circle is 62 0.5 centimeters around, but if we go to Windows, first of all, we'll take our ellipse, go to Object and convert it to a curve, which I've already done. Take your ellipse, go to Windows, Docker's Properties, and if this doesn't interest you, please just stop watching. So the ellipse is 196.377 centimeters long. So we divide that by 360, and we've got 1.83370 times 10, or actually divided by 10, mean. That gives us the tenth of a centimeter. So we need to rotate some those lines one-tenth of a centimeter. So if we, so it's, 0.183. So if we'll open, the, the best way to do it is go to Windows, Docker, Transformation, and Rotation. And we're going to type in, I've got it written down because I wouldn't be able to see it, 0.18337207. And we're only going to make 10 of them. Whoop. I must have grabbed my circle. And also, what I didn't do is I didn't put the rotation in the center. Now we're going to do it times 10. There's our 10 centimeter lines, but we need one of them to be longer. So what I'm going to, or two of them to actually be longer. I'm going to draw another circle that is almost that same size and hit B holding down the shift key to make it grow from the inside out. And then I can cut these lines like that. Now, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna hold down, you know what, that's probably a little bit too short for the video. So let's bring it in, holding down the shift key, and let's delete those lines. Now, holding down the shift key to let it grow from the inside. We'll do, we'll do right there. So we need the first one to be long. So we're going to take a virtual segment delete key in one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And actually we don't need this line because when we spin it around, you'll see and so that's going to be our short lines. And we'll just, for grands, we'll just, we'll make this one just half the size. 
So I just drew a line and, and cut it out. Now we can take away that circle. Now what I'm actually going to do is take that one and make it red. I'm going to take that one and make it blue. And we've got 10 objects, so that's one-tenth of the centimeter. So we're going to group this together, Control-G, and we're going to move the center rotation to the center. This way you don't have to make a duplicate of it or anything when you're using the transformation docker. And now we need to move it times 10, so 0 0.9166035. And I'm just going to do 10 of them right now. Well, we've lost our blue line. You know, so I, I should have gone 1.8366. Three, two, or seven. I think that's what I did. <clears throat> no, here we go. We're gone. We're done. But I don't have enough of them. So we need to go to about that mark so we can always... That's one thing nice about using this. You can back up and let's add 27. I think that's the length of his arc. And that looks pretty good. Now he, I think he's marking this with a fiber laser. It's actually for a piece of metal. So let's take the parallel dimension tool and right at the arc, we've got five, half a centimeter and one centimeter. So we're dead on accurate. So stay tuned and I'll try to figure out how to put the numbers in there. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.